Hi! In this video, we will be discussing how you can create a report model from scratch to capture data from an unstructured PDF file. Then, we will export the extracted data to an Excel destination. In this case, we have an invoice containing details for the purchases made by an automobile dealer by the name of Global Cars. As you can see, the PDF file contains the dealer's information at the top, followed by the details of the cars. You can capture this information in separate single instance and collection data regions. After creating an extraction template, we can export the data to an Excel sheet. Let's begin by creating a new report model. Launch the Report Miner client and go to File, New, Report Model. A window will open asking you to specify the source file for the report model. Locate the path of the PDF invoice in your local directory and click Open. This is what the source file looks like in Report Miner's Designer. We can edit the properties of the source report, such as its location and reading options, in the Report Options panel on the right. The reading options depend on the type of source file used. Since we are extracting data from a PDF file, we can use the Scaling Factor option for better alignment of the data. For now, we will leave it as it is. Now, we can start creating an extraction template. To add a new data region, click on the record node and select Add Data Region from the list of options. Notice that a node, Data, has been added to the Model Layout panel. Let's rename the region to Dealer's Info in the Region Properties panel. Make sure there are no spaces in the name. Next, observe that an orange bar has appeared above the designer. This is where we can specify the pattern to capture the lines in this region. Specify the date as the pattern directly above the point where the date is found in the invoice. Use the wildcard, match any digit to specify the date as the pattern. Notice that the line where the date is found has turned grey indicating that this is a part of the data region. To capture more lines within the region, go to the region properties and increase the line count of the region to 10. As you can see, all the lines captured within the region have grayed out. We can go ahead and create data fields now. Select the data on the designer, right click on it and click on Add Data Field option from the list of options. A Field Properties window will open on the right. You can rename the field, change its data type, and edit other properties of the field in this window. Next, we can create all other fields in this region using the same method. Instead of renaming them manually, we can go to the Region Properties and use the Auto Determine Field Names option. And here we go, all the fields have been renamed automatically, as shown in the model layout on the left. Next, create a new collection region by clicking on this yellow icon at Collection Data Region in the Model Layout panel. Rename the region to Cars Info in the Region Properties panel. To extract the information of all the cars, we will use the recurring format of the year column as the pattern. We will use the match any digit wildcard for this. Again, make sure that the pattern is directly above the years in the file. Let's create a data field, make by highlighting Kia and clicking on add data field. Notice that not all the data in the make field has been captured completely. In order to fix that, we can use this option, Auto Determine Field Lens, to capture all the data points in this field completely. To create the rest of the fields, we can click on the Auto Create Fields option in the Region Properties panel. All the fields have been created successfully. We can save the report model by clicking on the Save icon and 
providing an appropriate file name and file path. Next, to see if all the data has been captured correctly, click on this option, Preview Data. A data preview window will open. You can expand the nodes to view all the data regions and data fields. Finally, you can export the data to a destination by clicking on the Create New Export setting and Run to Excel option in the Data Export Settings tab. Provide a path where you want to save the Excel file and give it an appropriate name. Click Save. You can further configure your export settings using these available options. Let's leave them as default for now and click OK. A job progress window will open, showing the status of the currently running job and the job trace. After the job has been completed successfully, you can open the Excel file which we just created by clicking on the destination path. So this is how you can extract unstructured data residing in a PDF file and export it to an Excel destination in Astera Report Miner. For more information, you may visit our documentation site. Thank you for watching this video.